But I would rather lose my freedom than surrender to this group of thugs and tyrants, fascists, scoundrels, and rogues. The more the corrupt establishment tries to stop us, the more you know the day is near at hand when we will break free from their grip. We're going to break free very soon. We're going to break free from their grip very soon. You heard the J6 hostages, didn't you? You heard that. And uh, I will tell you, there's never been in the history of our country a group of people treated the way they've been treated. There's never been anything like it. Carpenters, mechanics, lawyers, firemen, policemen, military people. They went to protest a rigged election. And they've been sentenced to years in prison when they burn down Portland and they take over a vast section of Seattle and they burn down Minneapolis. And I had to watch television as a CNN reporter is standing saying, this is a peaceful protest. I'd like, this is a peaceful protest. And the whole damn city behind him is burning to the ground. Did you remember that? The, as far as the eye could see, Minneapolis burning to the ground. This is a peaceful protest. And then he got hit on the knee and he went down. It was crazy. The perceived double standard in how authorities handled individuals connected to the January 6th incident versus the leniency shown towards BLM and TIFA activities. It raises concerns about society's tendency to categorize and treat specific groups differently, possibly due to biased media portrayal and legal system discrepancies. Donald Trump's vocal opposition to the perceived injustice faced by January 6th participants garners support, reflecting resistance against what's viewed as excessive power concentration. His stance underscores the democratic principle of resisting encroachments on individual freedoms and encourages defiance against conformity and oppression. Trump's statements are interpreted as a call for individuals to resist perceived oppression in line with democratic ideals. The article highlights the contrast in legal repercussions between protests leading to urban destruction and actions taken against January 6th. Participants, 